Hey everybody, I'm MagusX, the Volatile Gamer, and today we're going to talk about great tech and tech compatibility because we're actually going to fix that. That's right, I'm going to get you to be able to install Greg Tech Mod on any of the Technic Launcher mod packs. Pretty cool, because if you're anything like me, you like adding additional mods to your mod pack. And of course, this will work with Tech at Launcher or, uh, type servers as well, and offline, online, whatever you want it to do. It's a pretty easy fix, and uh, well, you know, it's a pretty controversial mod whether or not it's really worth the time or whatever, but I've been playing Tech at long enough that I'm ready for a new challenge. Uh, a little bit more difficulty and a lot more resources being needed because I see myself having too much. So I guess that's the perks for the mod for some people out there. If you're one of those people that want to add it, here's how it's going to get done. So let's jump to the desktop and we'll get started. All right, so I got a quick little disclaimer. I'm making this tutorial for your own personal private use, maybe a little tiny server with you and your buddy inside the same house, but obviously not for a mod pack that you're going to upload to, you know, Technic Launcher or FTB or whatever. Personal use. Quick little disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any lawsuits or some kind of crap like that from editing, re redistributing code that's not truly yours. But, uh, well... You see what we have here is a very familiar screen. It's the Minecraft error screen. And uh, the one uh, code here that you're going to really see that sticks out is it's going to say errored. And I'll just highlight this. Errored red power machine. And I believe there's also uh, red power base or something that's uh, errored as well. Or, yeah, right here. Well, a few red powers. Now, it's not actually an error with red power at all. It's really just Greg Tech uh, has a code that detects if it's Technic Launcher type mod pack and completely shuts down and crashes on you. So let's get rid of this and I'm going to show you how to fix this right away. So first things first, you're going to need a few tools, but I guess I'll explain what's actually happening. It's part of the actual mod, like I said, and it's in this class file right here, dot class. Some of you who mod a lot and watching this video, you probably are someone, someone who likes to mod a lot, will be pretty familiar with a class mod and what you usually do with it. But in this case, we're going to edit it and that might be something new, but it's really not too difficult. And I'll show you how to do this right now. First thing you're going to want is a class editor and I'll in provide all the links in the description, of course. So just you're going to head here, click download and click on class editor and then 2.23 if that ever changes well then just get the newest one it's like eight years old so i doubt it'll change you'll have to wait about three seconds and you'll be good to go now keep in mind depending on which mod pack you're doing this for you may have some id conflicts once you resolve this error which would result in another error screen but it's not the same one and you will fix the first one and we'll show you at the end of this video how to fix the second one too but before we continue i wanted to show you something that will help you do that if you're not a big uh, id conflictor type of guy that you know you just want to make it make it be made easy this is a great program a fine id conflicts and it looks just like that and i'll show you where the conflicts are coming from so that way you don't have to search through tons and tons of uh, config files but not only that when you type in a new number for the ID it's going to tell you right away if it's available or not and that's a big deal I don't actually use this program to resave you see here it does say save config but I'm not going to use that because it does screw it up I mean there's something to do with the program I don't know but at least you can get that information and then make necessary changes to the config file yourself and if you're not sure what I'm talking about of course I'm going to show you a little bit later on so just go ahead and download that and I'll add that link of course and to the description now I already have this um, I'll grab it again off screen and uh, we'll continue on so go ahead and get this here this should have automatically started going uh, you're just gonna save that to your desktop it should be fine you could delete it once you're done you'll probably never need it again or at least not for a long time and you should be good to go and if you like I'll add Greg Tech's actual you know crap in here and I, I hate this post and I hate this guy really I shouldn't even be supporting his mod he's such an asshole but uh, especially for you know banning out or trying to boycott uh, technique launcher but screw him anyways we're gonna fight back and we're gonna get it on you know for those who like that at least try it out so if you're gonna get it for you know most of the mod packs is 1.4.7 so you're just gonna have to go here go here and it's this link here the important stuff is for 1.51 if that's what you're looking for and it should work I, I, I'm not able to test it but it's the same code probably so this should probably work with 1.51 or even newer versions if you're watching this in the future so you've gotten your your zip file here and uh, it's actually I think a dot tar. So you're going to need at least RAR Labs. I know for me, WinRAR does work. I'll provide a link to that in the prescription as well. If 7-Zip or whatever your normal zipping program doesn't work. So just drag that as you've seen there. Pretty standard stuff. And you open that up and it's the ce.jar right here. All right, so this is the class editor program that we have here. First things first, uh, I already changed this, but it's going to by default be green. Make sure you turn that on. And we're just going to go ahead and grab that uh, class file that we pulled out of the raw file from Great Text Mod. So just navigate to your desktop and go ahead and open that up or wherever you put it, of course. 
Now, once again, don't forget, you got to turn on modify mode. And then once it's open, you're going to go to constant pool. Now, once you're here, we're going to be utilizing the search function down here in the bottom or middle right, whatever corner. And uh, what you're going to do here is you're going to type in technic or anything at least close to that to get the search and uh, go ahead and click find. Now there's going to be two different uh, results for this. The first one we're only going to deal with later, but so you're actually going to click find a second time. And you'll notice here that you're on the right one if it says value and then it says dot technic. So what he's actually doing here is he's getting to a check that's going to check for a certain string or name, technic obviously, and it's going to cancel or crash or whatever it is that happens and cause it not to work. So we're going to change that. We're going to make it look for something completely irrelevant to the whole deal and it's going to work now. So go ahead and just change that. I'm going to change it to razor blade, I guess. I don't know, just completely random. Now go ahead and copy that. I'm going to press control uh, C here to copy it all because you want to keep it the same throughout the, all the switches that we're about to do. And then once you do that, click modify. Now it's a little bit finicky the way this works. So click the modify and then click up here. You should see that it did change. Okay. Now once you're at this point, scroll back up to the top and we're going to go do that first entry that I mentioned earlier. Okay. So just click anywhere is at the top. You have to do this because the search function only goes downward and will not go upward. So that's why we're going back up to the top. So click find again, and it should bring you to that first string that you saw. Click on that, press modify, and you'll see there that it did change. If it doesn't change, just kind of click somewhere else, then go back, click again, and just wait a second, kind of play with it a bit, and it should change. Now, once you have that safe, but we're not done. Okay, now we're going to go back up to the top, just to be sure. And now we have to do that for tech it as well. So go ahead and type in tech it, and then do the search. You'll get the first result. Once again, go to the second one. We're doing the same thing here. So there's our value for TechIt. Go ahead and switch that. Just paste in your dot razor blade that you should have at this point or whatever it is, of course, for you. Just make sure it has nothing to do with TechIt stuff or technique mod packs or anything. And same deal. Press modify first and then click somewhere else. You'll notice that it changes. Scroll back up to the top. Click somewhere there. Search again. You'll get your first value. Click on that. Press modify and it changes. Voila. Now go ahead and save that up and it should, should be good. Now whenever, well, we're not quite ready yet. So let's just close this. Kind of jumping the gun here, I guess. So let's go back to our actual mod file. Here it is. So this time we're going to delete this. So go ahead and right click on that and delete files if you're using WinRAR. I imagine it's pretty much the same deal for 7-zip or whatever. And then here, we, this is where we have the edited class file. Go ahead and put that right where it was, replacing the original. You can go ahead and close that up. You can close this stuff, and at this point, if you want to, you could delete that as well. You might want to keep it until it's fully running in case you run into some other error and you have to start over or whatever it may be. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and load up your game, and for some of you, that may be enough, if you're using Big Dig, that is. But however, with Tech at Light and a few of the mod packs from Technic Launcher, it won't be enough. Now you're going to get an additional error, but don't worry, it did fix the first one. It's just a, a conflict with the block IDs. And I'm going to show you real quickly how to fix that if you've never done it before. And even if you did, stay tuned, because this is a pretty cool program that you could use, and it's very, very helpful. So as I showed you in the beginning of the video and linked in this description, you can go ahead and download this program called Resolve. Once you get that, just go ahead and install it. Very, very simple. You can install it literally anywhere. So I just put it in my MC Download Tools. And once you get that, go ahead and load it up. So let's do that right now. And when you load it up, it's going to look just like this. Now, keep in mind, do use this program to you know, help you figure out what numbers are available for your block IDs, but do not use this program to actually save the configs. It will screw them up, and you'll get errors upon other errors, which is kind of dumb. Now it was already loaded, so let me just show you again. So, because it does load like this, so you're gonna have this pop up here. So go ahead and go into your app data, and then of course into dot technic, or if it's the old one, technic launcher, and go into whatever mod pack it is you're trying to install Greg Tech on, and then you're going to click on the config folder. At this point, just press select folder. Now keep in mind, you'll notice here Bill Craft and Greg Tech, they all have config files within these folders. It will select those as well. So you don't have to go here and click add an additional config. It's added them all. Now at this point, click on block. And it's going to take a few moments to load. While it's loading, I want to mention here, once again, it says save config here. Do not use this function. And I'll show you quickly why in a moment. So check this out. This is what it's going to look like for you, except you're going to have X's on block item IDs and other stuff. The other stuff may be, is going to be like, you know, dependent on which mod pack you're trying to use. 
So what you're going to do, go ahead and go to block item IDs. And here it's more than likely going to be block and machines, and they're going to be X'd out. And I'll show you what that looks like. I think by default, this is 4095. And it's going to be X'd out like that. And then with that X'd out like that, you'll notice here my Mr. Craft isn't working, and that's for Tech at Light. So this is my favorite part of the mod. You could actually use it to figure out what item IDs are available or block IDs without having to kind of guess because, you know, who has time to go through 100 config files to see which item, which numbers are available and which are not. So just go ahead and select here and you can actually move that around just like it would be like an edit box or whatever and type in another number. I'll just put 56, I guess, in this case, and it'll rather show up as an X again or as a check mark. In this case, it is good. So that should actually not be X'd out. Maybe it's just glitching out or whatever, but that's fine. It, it should be good. But this is just to get the information anyhow. So we do know that 4056 is available, and so is 4055 or whatever else you need to change. So figure that out. But once again, do not use save config, and I'll show you why right here. I'm not going to save it to the over the config, but I'll save it to my desktop and show you what happens. It screws up the, the characters within the document. Check out all these weird A's and stuff, and those A's will cause an actual error when trying to load uh, Minecraft. And you may think to yourself, sure, just delete them like I just did. But in some weird and random cases, it'll actually leave invisible characters, and I couldn't even find them. It said it was like a square, and I looked everywhere for it. I even searched for the square, and it ended up being like a dime. I don't know. But either way, do not save config, but do get the information from it. And then once you have that, just go into your Tech at Light folder, into your config, and then we're going to go into Greg Tech and open up the block item IDs, just like we had here, block item IDs. So open that up with Notepad. And right here at the top, you could actually see uh, the same stuff you would see here, block, machine, and, and whatever. So we're going to change that. I already did in this case, so my game is working with Great Tech at this point. But for you, this would be 4095 and so on. So go ahead and change those to whatever items you tested out here, and you're good to go. Make sure you save your config file, close it up, and launch your game. And, uh, well... There goes the last eight minutes of your life, but hopefully it was a helpful eight minutes. Uh, now you're going to spend the next 300 of hours of your life, perhaps even enjoying Greg Tech, and more than likely crafting a wooden plank out of 98 fucking diamonds. Now, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I want to take a quick moment here to just kind of talk for a second. It's been four months since I made a video, and I do apologize for that. And anybody who still needs help on any of the tech stuff, feel free to now message me on this video, and I'll try to keep up with you now. Any messages that I've gotten in the past, I'll, I'll have to just kind of brush aside for now because I'm sure most of them have all the issues have been resolved but I'm back and on track and I'm back to help you guys out for any uh, Minecraft errors so that's going to be pretty much it uh, feel free to have me up on Skype at MagusX, same as my YouTube account, and we could uh, I could help you out there too, or we just play or whatever. I have a, I have a really cool mod pack I've been uh, putting together. It's a private one. I call it the Biggest Dig. It's kind of a ripoff of Big Dig. It has everything that that has, plus 20 more mod packs. I'm trying to add everything from Dire Wolf's 20s pack and FTB, obviously, and then I'm adding some more from FTB Ultimate and any other cool mods that I find from outside of that. I did add Greg Tech, but I'm going to leave an option to have that completely out or whatever. If you'd like to try it out, awesome i'll eventually make a server that might be public at some point and we could try that out too sounds good yeah so once again i'm magus x the volatile gamer i'm gonna sign off today so you have yourselves a good one and i will too Bye bye